Hi everyone, welcome to the fourth live show of Hello Spring Festival 2021, a virtual event brought to you by Have Hala Will Travel in celebration of the Lunar New Year. I'm Ili from Have Hala Will Travel and I'm coming to you live from Selangor, Malaysia. Now we have a super exciting segment for you tonight, so I hope everyone is ready. And for those of you tuning in, make sure you stay with us throughout the live show so that you can catch the answer that will help you win our mini lucky draw for this segment. Now to participate, all you have to do is go to hellospringfest.com and click on the red booth lucky draw, sorry, the red packet lucky draw booth. And besides our lucky draws, you can also look forward to exciting articles and videos about what you can do during the CNY long weekend and other virtual booths hosted by some really awesome brands. So whether you celebrate or not, Everyone is invited and welcome to join in on the fun. So make sure to check those out. Now, we are less than a week away from Lunar New Year. And this is usually the time where a lot of people are really gearing up for the festivities, just going shopping, making cookies, getting ready uncle packets. And one of the things that a lot of people look forward to during this festive occasion is the family reunion dinner. And it's actually one of the most important parts of the celebration because it essentially brings families together around the table. And this is where everyone just you know, catches up with one another over a meal. And this actually symbolizes unity and hopes for prosperity for you know, the year ahead. With that being said, though, this year's celebrations will be very different for a lot of us because of COVID-19. Um, in Malaysia, we are in a lockdown, so traveling isn't possible at the moment, which means everyone will have to stay put instead of visiting loved ones this year. But that doesn't mean you cannot still enjoy the festivities at home. And even if you aren't in a lockdown, you're probably staying in during the long weekend. So that gives you the perfect chance to have a steamboat dinner at home with your family. And we have a special guest tonight to show us exactly how you can do that. So I'm here to welcome celebrity chef from the Asian Food Network and foodpreneur chef Ili Sulaiman. Hi! Hi. Oh Hello. my gosh, it's finally happening. And I see you have everything laid out and just ready to go. It looks fantastic. Especially oh for gosh. you. How are you tonight? Um, well, you know, it's it's really uh, strange to be having a steamboat for one. But you know what? Uh, things have changed for us. So we might as well embrace the changes and make the best out of it. So that's what we're doing today. Exactly. It's all about the virtual experience right now, just like this event. So I know that you have you know, everything laid out and you, and you look ready to go and I'm ready to go. But before we dive into the segment, <laughs> I have just a few questions for you, Chef Ili. Sure, um, sure. All right. So for any of our audience who may not be familiar, uh, do you celebrate Chinese New Year? Yes, I do, because uh, my mom's mother um, is of Chinese descendant. So we come from a lineage of, uh, we're, we're Fu Chao on that side. Um, so yes, we do celebrate Chinese New Year. And we have some really weird traditions, which I will share with you guys later. Um, but yes, we do celebrate. And uh, Steamboat is part of that huge celebration, to be honest. So it's very dear to me, hence why I started my own Steamboat and Grill Delivery Service, because... I miss having it with my family <laughs> and uh, yeah so yes we do celebrate Chinese New Year that or oh, Luna awesome. New Year actually Luna New Year that's the right way of saying it right yeah <laughs> no, that's awesome that you get have to like you can transition that because you enjoy the experience so much so you kind of made it your own personal thing that you can offer to everyone I think that's really cool yeah so how do you celebrate it like do you have any particular routine that you do every year do you have like a thing that you do yeah, we do actually. So, um, so like I said earlier, my my traditions are a little bit like warped in a way because um, I don't know whether they're legit traditions, but they're very tra like it's very accustomed that in my family, my grandmother usually comes in the morning uh, with oranges, our ampa packets, um, some cookies, and then she makes this sweet herbal drink that we have to drink on the first day of Chinese New Year. So we have our reunion dinner at night. And then on the first day of Chinese New Year, she will come and uh, we cannot clean the house. Nothing can be done. Um, and literally, she, we all have this sweet tea. Um, and uh, basically, that kind of symbolizes like the sweetness of the New Year. 
and then we uh, sit at the foot of our house, usually at the main door, and we roll oranges and shout out, you know, luck and happiness and all the abundance that you want in that new year. And we roll our oranges into the house, which usually freaks out like all the cats. And <laughs> and um, and also my husband uh, for the first year uh, last year, uh, he he was a part of this tradition and he found it really bizarre. But it's just a bit of fun and, and it's something that we've been doing since we were children. So it's not weird to us, but I don't know whether people out there actually do it or not. <laughs> yeah, that sounds really special. Yeah, I, I practice like different things. I feel like every household has their thing. Yeah, and it's always special to them. Yeah. And it's really unfortunate that because our situation right now, because of COVID, we have to kind of like miss out on some of the th those things. But yeah. that's exactly why we have this segment right here. Um, you exactly. know, it's showing people that you know what you don't have to miss out on the festivities. So yeah, I feel so like I think I'm should... having like yeah, I'm having like a little uh like trial er trial right now, like uh having steamboat with you guys, and then I can like do this kind of setup again when I have it with my family. So because everyone's going to be ordering Illipot, so we're all going to be streaming our steamboat sessions in all six houses. <laughs> so this is a good trial run. <laughs> Oh, okay. So streaming session is definitely it this Chinese New Year. So, okay, I don't want to hold off any longer. Um, let's just dive right into the whole business of what makes for a delicious steamboat dinner at home. Okay. Yeah, so, okay. Cool. Cool. So take it away, Chef Yili. All right. So basically here I have my soup going. So it's really important to get your soup really nice and hot. Okay, guys? So, um... For this Lunar New Year, what we did was we took inspiration from the from the mala. <laughs> but then what I did was I Malaysianized it. Um, so I, I, I made it a little bit more like a mild curry. So there's a lot of like, you know, I guess Malaysian flavors in it. So all our soups in Illipot are all Malaysianized soups. So we have you know, our tom yum, but it's not like Thai tom yum, it's more like a Malaysian tom yum. We have uh, creamy chicken, we have a soy base, it's like sukiyaki, but it's like sukiya, but not because it's a little bit more Malaysianized. And this is our mala. And it's really important that when you're making soups, right, uh, you think about the people who are eating. So uh, make sure that your soups are done with really good broth, uh, really good ingredients. Um, you know, in, in some families, um, less is more. So they like a more subtle soup. Um, but I know that in Malaysia, we like really strong soups. So hence why the mala is your way to go. You know, it's spicy. It's herbaceous. It's got lots of different spices. And now that it's boiling, I can like, you know, my nose is trying really hard not to, to sneeze. <laughs> and then, of course, you have all your other ingredients, right? So mala... We call this mala soup. It's a play in words. We call it mala petaka because, you know, we're living through COVID times right now. <laughs> so mala petaka is um, a play in words, something a bit funny, but also looking up to the new year. Um, so hence why uh, we called it that. And it's really important to cover it and let it boil. So I want to talk a little bit about the ingredients because that's really important as well in the Lunar New Year. So you always have prawns. You always see prawns as one of the main dishes in, um, you know, in Chinese cuisine, especially during the Lunar New Year. And it's because of the name. I can't pronounce it in Chinese. I'm really sorry. But um, it's something to do with luck and it's something to do with the prosperity of the prawns, you know, the head. And you always serve it whole. Um, and of course, you have to have the different meats as well. So we usually traditionally always have uh, fish and seafood um, and our steamboat and of course the meats. So we have lamb, we have beef, we have chicken. It's literally endless. We, and we also have fish, right? Um, so we're using a little bit of a European twist, 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 <laughs> twist. So we're having a salmon belly, which really is really nice and fatty and it will give a lot of flavor to your soup. Um, and of course you have your vegetables and your dipping sauces. What is steamboat without your dipping sauces? So we have our gila hot sauce right here, which is super spicy. Uh, we also have our kicap chili. Uh, this is like a soto 
you know, like if we have soto ayam or soto daging, you always have this kicap chili. So we incorporated that in our sets. And of course, my chili oil, which is a must. Um, this one is the prawn. It goes really well with what we're having today. And of course, your vegetables. So you need your yin and your yang, okay, when you're having steamboat. But there is no real, like, step-by-step. -step. The best thing about steamboat is it's individualistic. You put everything in the soup. Everyone takes whatever they want. <laughs> and then at the end, you have this beautiful broth that has taken all of the flavors from all the ingredients. And then you boleh drink it. It's the best, okay? And I always usually put the noodles last, okay? So I just want to... Do you, you have any questions, Ili? <laughs> it's really weird calling myself and, you know, <laughs> like Ili, Ili. Uh, no, but do you have any questions? <laughs> No worries. So from one Ili to another. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I just, I just, just want to know, okay, so what would you, uh, what ingredient would you recommend to put in your steamboat first? Because I know a lot of people, you know, have different ideas of what they can put in. Or sometimes, you know, you, you're so hungry and you don't really think straight. So you just yeah. toss in whatever. So yeah, what would you recommend to be first? So what, yeah. So usually what I do is I don't, um, usually in our set, we always give um, some onions and some carrots. So the hardier vegetables. So I like to put those in first. So, uh, and mushrooms. So we always put mushrooms. So I'm going to put in some mushrooms in. And the reason why is we're adding more flavor to it, right? Um, things that take very, uh, quite a bit longer to cook, like for instance, your chicken, right? You want to put in your chicken because you don't want to eat non-cooked chicken guys like so chicken always goes in first and you want the chicken to cook before you start drinking the broth super important so all the meats that um need to be cooked a hundred percent goes in first and things like um your prawns for instance they don't take very long to cook so um but you can add them in because we use king prawns in our illy pot so they're quite large so i'm going to put uh, a couple of that in because this also gives a lot of flavor like tons of flavor okay so now you want to cover this up okay and let that bubble now once it starts bubbling like crazy this is the mistake that a lot of people do is they put all of their red meat in their lamb and their beef straight into it and let it bubble and it sits too long in the broth and it becomes really tough what you really want to do is just dip it in the hot broth for like a few seconds. And I'll show you. I'll show you really quickly how that works. Okay, so this broth is quite hot. And then you can see the chicken's really cooked. So it is really hot. You can see it steaming away. Oh my God. Perfection. Okay. So with my chopstick, or you can even use the spoon, no problem. I'm going to take some of that lamb. I'm so sorry, Eli. You can't be here to enjoy this with me. But look at our lamb, it's beautifully marbled with some fat. And you just want to dip it in just a few seconds, like literally count. One, two, three, four, five. Have a look at it. It's done. Five seconds in the hot broth. Take it straight out. You don't want to overcook it, okay? If you overcook your lamb, you overcook your beef, it's going to be really, really tough. Okay, and then dip it in some of that hot sauce. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I'm just going to indulge. This is perfect. This is like a live mukbang for me. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's so moist. It's so soft. It's so, and it's cooked through, you know. You can't see any pink. Can you see any pink? No. It's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. And I think this is a mistake that a lot of people do. They overcook their their uh, meats and their vegetables when they're doing steamboat, and that's not the way. You're supposed to dip it um, and let... <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's so spicy, my mama. Hold on. Oh, it's numbing. Ooh. Oh, that's better. Okay, so I shouldn't talk so fast when I'm having mala sauce, my, my mala soup. Okay, so a lot of people take, like, they just leave their 
their food in I mean so their their meats and everything in there for so long and then by the time they eat it they're like why is it dry why is it tough it's because of that you overcook your meats and then you spoil the flavor you can't taste the lamb the chicken tastes like the lamb the lamb tastes a little prawn so you don't really want that you want that taste to be in the soup which you can soup like you can slurp it with the noodles later so that's kind of my tip i'm gonna have one more okay any more questions you gotta ask me before i take another bite i'm just enjoying watching you indulge in <laughs> i'm still live everything over here but yes i do have a question because i feel mm. like I've a lot of people do this and i am guilty of, of it myself as well just yeah. so like going back to the whole being hungry thing and you you know you don't really think too much um, I feel like a lot of people kind of throw in everything and I kind of see the comment sections of, you know, some people saying that just put in everything at once. Now, like, yeah. is that something that you shouldn't do? Is that, should you avoid that? Is there a limit to the number of ingredients you put in single? Yeah, I mean, like, I think, like, if you put everything in, it's going to take a lot longer to cook. So what I've done, if you can see, like, I've only put in a couple of things in, like, just a few things. And yeah, of course, very... I'm, I'm just on my own right now, so I can't be eating tons of stuff. But the whole point of Steamboat is actually to, you know, sit and take your time eating. Take it, you know, you you let the broth broil, boil and then you're sitting with your loved ones or you're streaming with your loved ones and you're having a conversation while waiting for your food to cook. So a lot of the common mistake is like you get everything and then you just dump it straight in the pot. And there's two things that happens, right? So everything gets overcooked. And then, um, and when you cook too much, it takes too long and everyone gets hungry. So, you know, you end up like waiting a long time for your stuff to cook. So just take your time with it. Like put in one portion at a time, uh, you know, serve that, have a little bit of food and then chit chat, drink a little bit of soup, you know, enjoy the process of having steamboat. Like it's not about cooking everything and eating everything really fast, you know. That's why it's the perfect kind of meal during Luna New Year, whether it's a New Year or renewing dinner, because it's those things that you you want to take your time with, you know, spend some time with family, ask questions, and you know, hey, say what's up, apa cerita, apa kabar, you know, <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, I totally yeah. agree because um, I feel like maybe a lot of people out there share the same sentiment because I tend yeah. to get impatient, so I am one of the people who you know just throws everything in but yeah definitely you know it's in your best interest to do things slowly so that you can make the best out of your steamboat really yeah yeah i mean if you're gonna throw everything in a pot and let it boil you might as well make a soup <laughs> right that's true now i was wondering <laughs> in between you know when you're waiting for things to you know cook and come to a boil do you have any side dishes like recommendations that would go well with your steamboat oh yeah of course so i have a couple of recipes like um i've done for the asian food network you can check it out i made this amazing um starters make your own spring roll board so you like in my family we like to graze <laughs> So we're always eating and then sleeping and then eating again, right? So that's just what usually happens. So um, besides the yi sang, which we usually have, but this year we're making smaller yi sangs, um, uh, we always have like a, a croutement board. Um, and we have, uh, so DIY spring rolls, so you can make your spring rolls. So we have like uh, prawns, we have um, aromatic crispy duck, we have some fried tofu, we have some lobak, and everyone can just like help themselves. So we have that. And of course you have, we always have nasi goreng or fried rice with our steamboat, which is um, a, a specialty of my family. And then, and steamboat. So, and of course we have all the other stuff, like my mom likes kimchi. So we always have kimchi, super random. Um, and then like, we also have like fried chicken wings. and <laughs> Because it's, my family is like a mash of different cultures. So it's like literally bringing everything together um into one huge feast but the star of the show is always still the steamboat um but yeah you can always add on and don't be afraid you know being in southeast asia we can always have different things to enjoy your steamboat with um which i think is really really important yeah um, Hello? I, yeah i mean i myself um 
my mom decided to, you know, let's throw a like steamboat thing this year. And we haven't done one in quite a while. So this segment really could yeah. not have come at a more perfect time. <laughs> and for those of yeah. you Exactly, yeah. For those of you who already had your steamboat dinner, um, you can still have another one. You know, we still have like less than one week to the Lunar New Year. And I'm pretty sure yeah. at one point, you're going to have a steamboat feast throughout the year. So definitely like use all these tips that Chef Lee has so that you can yeah. enjoy it and the best out of it. You know, you can make your own broth as well. You can keep it really simple. You can just use chicken bones, uh, chicken wings that you have and some onions, some garlic, some ginger. Let that boil for a couple of hours. Um, or you can order from us, like from Illy Pot Delivery. We will do everything for you. So everything we see here, including the pot, chopsticks, we even give tissue paper. Okay, we even give tissue paper. We give a lighter. We give everything to you. Um, so you don't need to worry about anything. And the best part is we have, you know, packs for two people. We have packs for four. So if you have, you know, a small family like me and my husband, we're just going to be two of us for this new year. Um, so we're ordering just for two and then my mom's, uh, my mom and my grandmother, there's like six of them. So they're ordering for six. So, you know, it like, and the best thing about Steamboat is if you have access, like if you made too much soup or you made, you know, you bought too much meat, you can always use it the next day, fry up some, you know, broccoli stir fry with some leftover beef slices you know so it's not a waste and that's the beautiful thing about steamboat is if you're having it at home you're not wasting the ingredients you can always use it for other amazing dishes and that's why i love about it as well so now that you've shared a little bit about Ili pot um mm -hmm. i'm sure you have something exciting to share with our audience on how yes they can Yes, so please, go ahead, please share with <laughs> uh, what, what do I share? No. Okay, so, okay, the most important thing is, of course, if you guys are viewing this today, you guys get a free promo code. You get ring, 10 ringgit off if you uh, put in this promo code, HHWT10, so 10, okay? You get a min with a minimum spend of 100 ringgit, you get 10 ringgit off. So... This applies to anyone in the Klang Valley, in Slango. We also um, deliver to slightly outside as well, like to Bangi, Rawang, and uh, Cyberjaya. So for those who are really far out um, and really miss their family, you can totally um, uh, use this promo code to reduce your delivery charges. And we are doing this promo code. It's exclusive for you guys only, and it's available until the 31st of March, okay? So past Luna New Year, you can still use it only for have Hala World Travel people who are watching today. Oh, all right. So everyone, I hope everyone got that. It, the code is HHWT10 with a minimum spend of 100 ringgit. Is that right, Chef Eli? Yes. Sorry, I'm still eating. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no worries. And if, you know, on top of this, um, like mm -hmm. you said, Link, you guys stand a chance for those of you tuning in um you stand a chance of winning some super fun gift cards also worth 88 ringgit if you participate in our mini draw and all yeah. you have to do really is just go to hello springfest.com and click on the red booth um lucky draw red packet lucky draw booth and i hope you caught you know you listen carefully in on our segment so that you can you know have a bit of a higher chance to win that lucky draw Mm -hmm. yeah. See, yeah. this is what happens, you know, when the people tell you pay attention in class, this is why. So you can win prizes. <laughs> Not because anything else, because in life, if you pay attention, you win. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Yes, exactly. So that's why you said it in the beginning, guys. Listening carefully, please stay with us for the live show. We really want you to win this thing. It's super awesome. <laughs> what? We do not want to win it. So, yes. <laughs> Everyone, oh my God. to. Just go ahead, try your luck, you know, and it's not just for this mini draw, but we also have other mini draws happening and also one grand draw. So, yeah, please look forward to that. All right. Sorry, guys. Right. Look at this prawn. Look at how it's steaming. I'm so sorry. I'm just, like, amazed. Oh. <laughs> oh. Is it weird that I'm always amazed at my own food? I don't know why. I know it's, like, super strange, but I guess maybe I love, I'm so lucky to be doing what I love and yeah, get to no, enjoy I this with you guys. Yeah. <laughs> You should be more than proud. It looks so awesome. Honestly, I wish I had my own like steamboat here with me right now so I could like just eat with you even after this live is over. 
It's okay. You can you can still submit your order for tomorrow. Just put in your HHW10 and then you get 10 ringgit off. You can still do it. No problem. We open seven days a week. <laughs> exactly. Okay. So this is not just for me. This is for everyone. Okay. So one more time. It's HHWT10 for your code. And yeah, so I think this is all the time we have today. Chef Eli, thank you so much for joining us tonight and really demonstrating <laughs> all the handy tips, the tricks, the do's and don'ts for basically having yeah. a steamboat feast at home. Yes. And don't forget to like throw out all of like the weird uh, idioms when it comes to like wishing people luck and wishing people all the best. This is the time to do it, okay? Uh, you want abundance for everybody, prosperity, good health, good skin, everything. This is the time you can shout it when you're doing your yisang or when you're wishing your family and friends um, Happy Lunar New Year. Mm. So everyone, <laughs> I hope everyone got that, okay? Like that's very important. <laughs> so now... Uh, <laughs> So, Shavili, thank you so much. We will now leave you to enjoy the rest of your steamboat dinner for all thank of our you. audience. Thank you so much for tuning in into this live. Um, again, if you want to participate in the mini draw, just go to hellospringfest.com, click on the red packet lucky draw booth, and you know, try your luck. Also, don't forget to tune in next weekend on the 12th and 13th of February, where we have more exciting live shows in store for you and more fun prizes for you to win. So, Market calendars, and we'll see you then. Bye. Bye.